hi students i hope all are fine so we have finished our exams and we are entering to entering into a new unit okay so the last uh, chapter that we have learned was about supplementary reading it was about narayanpura incident okay so what was it about it was speaking about an incident that happened during the freedom struggle when india was struggling to get its freedom from the british so in this class or the next chapter that we are going to deal with is about dr b r ambedkar one who was instrumental in the freedom struggle as well as in framing the constitutions of, of india and so on. okay so we are going to learn about him and the name of the chapter is dr p r ambedkar okay it is written by sri r venkatraman okay so first before going to see who dr b r ambedkar was we shall see who uh, we shall see about the one who has written about him okay it was it is sri r venkatraman okay so ramaswami venkatraman was a lawyer independence activist and politician who served as a union minister of our country and he was the eighth president of india okay so this particular chapter or it's a kind of article written about dr b r ambedkar rather than an article it's a kind of biography okay it is written by r venkatraman he was a lawyer and as we know he was uh, one of the presidents of india okay so now we shall just see a small poem of two stanzas what does it say we shall just see that not gold but only men can make a nation great and strong men who for truth and honor sake stand fast and suffer long brave men who work while others sleep who dare while others fly they build a nation's pillars deep and lift them to the sky okay this particular poem of two stanzas they speak about those people who build up a nation okay they are the people who work day in and day out to build up the nation so this particular chapter about b r ambedkar we are going to learn about b r ambedkar the one who was able to build up the nation india in his own way okay so we shall just enter into the chapter okay baba saheb okay b r ambedkar was also known as baba saheb okay we shall just read the uh, we shall start the story one trait which marked baba saheb during his student days and in fact throughout his life was that he was a voracious reader he had an insatiable thirst for books he bought books by curtailing his daily needs in new york he is said to have purchased about 2000 old books and it is recorded that at the time of the second round table conference in london he bought so many books that they had to be sent to india in 32 boxes okay we are learning about dr b r ambedkar he was a person who loved to read who loved to buy books and read them okay so he used to forgo his meals forgo his daily needs in order to buy books okay and it is said he had a great love for reading and he used to amass books and fin uh, read and finish them okay and it is said when he was present for the second round table conference in london he bought so many books that all the books had to be sent to india in 32 boxes so we can see the amount of books which dr b r ambedkar was reading 
then it is important to record here one major influence on Dr. Ambedkar. While in the USA, he was drawn to the 14th Amendment of the Constitution of the USA, which gave freedom to the black Americans. He saw at once the parallel of the situation for the depressed classes in India. On returning home, Baba Sahib came to be greatly influenced by the life and work of Mahatma Phule, the votary of a classes society cla sorry, the votary of a classless society and women's uplift. Okay, so one thing that has influenced Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was this. He was reading the constitutions of the USA. Okay, he was in USA. So he was reading the constitutions of USA and when he read the constitution, he saw one amendment. Amendment means the change or reform that took place that, that was present in the constitution. Okay. So the amendment was this the freedom. Okay, there there was an amendment which gave freedom to the black Americans. Okay, we knew that there was discrimination based on the color and so on but it was taken away after some time with so much of struggle and so on so he read that read that amendment and he understood or his mind uh, understood that there was a similar situation existing in india because in india there was depressed classes okay there was depressed classes in india so he, he his mind connected the situation of india to that of the black americans so in the usa the amendment gave freedom to india so he wanted to do something that would give freedom to the depressed classes in india so when he returned to india uh, from us from the usa okay he was greatly influenced by the work of Mahatma Phule. He was working for the classless society and also the upliftment of women. They need the need as well as the feasibility of reform impressed itself on Baha, Baba Sahib's mind and he decided to devote all his time and talents for the amelioration of his underprivileged brethren. Newspapers started by him such as the Mungnayak, Bahishkrit Bharat and Samatha were, were at once recognized as authentic voices of the depressed classes. Likewise, institutions set up by him such as the Hidakarini Sabha and the Independent Labour Party of India became vehicles of change. During the same period, Gandhiji was pioneering his epic reform of Indian society which included the uplift of depressed classes whom Gandhiji had termed as Harijans. Okay, so what happened? He came to India, he was influenced by the works of Mahatma Bhule. Okay, and he understood that he had to do something in order to in order to uplift these depressed classes. So what did he do? He prepared newspapers like Mugnayak, then Bahishkrit Bharat and Samatha. His newspapers received so much of uh, appreciation from the local people and it was like the voice of the depressed classes. His newspaper, the newspapers which was which were brought by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was uh, were considered as the voice of the depressed class okay then after that he uh, he instituted certain institutions like uh, sorry he founded certain institutions like hitakarini sabha and independent labor party of india and they became vehicles of change or the medium of change and this was the period when gandhiji also started his reform Okay, his reforms and Gandhiji also worked for the upliftment of 
the depressed classes whom gandhiji had termed as harijans okay harijans or the children of god gandhiji termed those in the depressed classes as harijans or children of god okay so so there was there were people there were uh, caste system there was caste system there were uh, there was a uh, uh, people were depressed according to the classes and so on so dr b r ambedkar was working against this class uh, class system and he wanted to bring these people this depressed class uh, those people who belonged to the depressed class to the uh, to the level or the to the higher level of the society okay then what happened baba saheb was elected to the bombay legislative assembly in the elections under the constitution of india act 1935 baba saheb made effective contribution to the debates debates in the assembly on a variety of subjects his flair for legislative work became evident to the whole nation okay so baba saheb uh, dr uh, b r ambedkar was invited or he was select he was elected to be part of the bombay legislative assembly okay and which were uh, which was supposed to be constructing the uh, means uh, sorry which came on uh, bombay legislative assembly in the elections under the constitution act of india 1935 so he was elected under the constitution of india act okay and he, he talked in certain debates and so on in the assembly and everyone understood that he had the potency to build up the nation okay because he spoke for the depressed classes and everyone understood that he had the potency he had the caliber or the ability to bring up or build up a nation okay i hope that would be enough for today so we shall see some of the vocabularies that is voracious means it is contextually it is saying that is very eager for knowledge then insatiable that which cannot be satisfied then amelioration that is make something better okay and we have a, a worksheet to do so there are six question in it you have to fill in the blanks okay so it is like uh, in some of the questions you have options given and some of the questions you need to uh, write as you oh, uh, it is enough that you can find the answers once you go through the paragraph so i hope today's class is clear to you so thanks to everyone and bye